Hey, okay guys, I've got a uh, spot that I want to try flying the Avada in here at Kleiner Park. There was an individual that was by the sculpture over there that, I don't know, he was in there for a long time. Anyway, he finally left. So the coast is clear. Let's put this guy up in the air. And uh, I'm not sure how brave I'll get because uh, I am still trying to figure this uh, motion controller out. Uh, but we're gonna try it out and uh, see if we can mess around where the labyrinth is on the uh, sculpture at Julius Kleiner Park. I pulled the picnic table in the shade here so I can take my uh, hat off and I'll be a little more uh, comfortable with these goggles. And I will say this, the goggles, uh, I, I, I find the goggles uh, uh, pretty comfortable. Let me see if I can, uh, yeah, so we got another, uh, battery firmware update so we're going to confirm that and it's going to do that and in the meantime I'll see if I can turn on the motion controller. I'm used to being able to see uh, everything that I'm looking at and so this is a little bit disconcerting for me uh, to, uh, to not be able to see it. And I see it saying no SD card in the goggles here and I'm pretty sure I put that card back in so I'm going to take them off for a second. Yeah, the card is in there. Uh, yeah, home point updated, firmware updated. It said goggle compass interference. Now, I wonder what I do about that. Goggle compass calibration. Let's click on that. Okay, so we're going to click start. Rotate goggles 90 degrees. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to take them off. Now rotate them uh, 90 degrees to the left. See, I can't, I can't see what it's trying to tell me to do. Rotate 90 degrees to the left, back to center, then 90 degrees to the right and back to center. So 90 degrees and then 90 degrees. And yeah, nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna do it like this, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Yeah, it says to recalibration failed. Recalibrate. Uh, okay. Rotate 90 degrees upward back to center, then 90 degrees downward. So 90 degrees upward back to center, 90 degrees downward back to center, then 90 degrees to the left back to center, 90 degrees to the right, back to center. Uh, calibration successful, so I guess we did something right. Center that up, hit the back button, back button. Okay, uh, gosh, I think we're ready to take off. Ah, gosh darn. Uh, they don't make this easy. I'm just gonna tell you that right off the bat. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's hit that red button twice, and we're motors are started, and then we're going to hit it again, and take off. Home point found, and so clearly, uh, it's it's kind of interesting uh, what you think is. Uh, you know, I'm I'm still struggling with. Uh, keeping this guy pointed the way I want it to point, but this is where I wanted to go. And let's hope we don't hit any uh, branches here. But yeah, here we are. So this, this is the, uh, the labyrinth where that, uh, that young man was, uh, let's see if I can get turned around. I, I wish I could just rotate in place. Yeah, I don't know how, to, yeah, I guess, okay, there's a way, that's how, I just tilted my hand and rotated. Can I go through there? We did it. That's, a, that's our first real gap, I'd say. So, so I, the, one of the things that I keep trying to do is I keep trying to twist that old uh, that old mech warrior trick, and I have to remember to tilt. And it's it you know you talk about what's natural for.
for you to do. And uh, I'm just saying that that twist motion is what's natural to me. When I'm wanting to turn, I'm trying to twist the motion controller instead of tilt it. So uh, yeah, it's just something that I got to get used to. Okay, let's let's turn around right and let's see if we can get in here this direction. And I can see, you know, again, I I'm being very careful because I'm I, I struggle with this. But let's go around the other side of the uh, uh, of the uh, uh, sculpture here, and let's see if we can go through this guy again. And we did. And I can see one of the things that I was doing there was uh, I was uh, I was pointing down. So can I get up? up over these yeah I did it so that see that's the thing I'd like to be able to punch up easier than that uh, uh, you know because I wasn't entirely sure that I could miss those uh, miss those trees let's see if we can get I, I'm not gonna I just kind of want to go near the sculpture here I wish so, so what I can't figure out is how I would do a rotation around that guy. Uh, that's what I would like to do. I would like to do a rotation around the sculpture. So it's pretty clear that I need to spend more time uh, just flying around at height getting used to this. But uh, I hope you guys can appreciate that we hit a couple of gaps there and we didn't crash. <laughs> uh, boy, I just thought of something else we probably need to do, because uh, I've done it with other drones. We got the CarMax sign across uh, the street over here. So let's go over here. We're going to go over across the street. And man, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, uh, I'm, I'm worried about getting in between those trees, but, but I'm going to try try it. And let's pick it up. You guys think we can go through, go underneath the uh, CarMax sign here? I think we can. There we go. Let's go straight up then. And we can go back out over the field here. Okay, third battery, uh, and I'm officially uh, hitting gaps. It, th again, this is not natural to me at all, so I'm, I'm struggling here a little bit. And we're in normal mode. Here's our here's our farmer uh, planting some uh, grain here. He's got that drill. I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see later on in the season what he's planting. Uh, but he's planting something. And I had a I had just a little bit of a blink there in the goggles on FPV. Let's see if we can kind of go next to him here for a little bit. And then scoot on by. I'm sure that he probably hears us. This is a pretty loud little drone. Uh, okay, so there's our sign again. And there's no cars coming. So what do you think? You think we can go the other direction? Here's what I worry about the other direction is there's trees on the other side. Uh, and can I then avoid the trees? So I'm slowing down here. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we did it. We don't want to go up over the street, so let's get high, 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 up over the trees, over the matting crowd. <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess we're making progress here. Uh, the one thing that I'm disappointed in a little bit is, okay, so I'm coming to a stop here. I've got the joystick, and I'm pointing straight, I'm pushing straight up on it. And you can see we're gaining an altitude, but not terribly quickly. And now I'm going to I'm going to move the joystick to the left. I guess the drone's moving to the left, but it is very very slow. Yeah. I don't know. Uh so I'm going to have to mess around in the uh in the uh uh app and see if I can figure out how to uh update that uh, that joystick. 
So there's some people coming there. We're going to be careful again. Let's uh, let's throw it into sport mode and let's mess around in sport mode here a little bit. Let's uh, and we're 30 meters high, so we're well above everything. Uh, I'm full throttle now, 14 meters per second. So that's pretty quick, I'd say. And I like diving down and going up. I'm not super comfortable with it, but I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, you know, we don't we don't want to bother the waterfowl here, so we're gonna not get too low here. But uh, yeah, there we have it. And there is uh, there's the other sculpture over there, one of the other sculptures. And uh, let's go over by the pickleball. Courts. God, I'm surprised there's nobody playing pickleball. Let's uh, let's grab some more altitude and turn around and come back. And here we go. So I'm going to see if I can land it. We're at 49% battery. I'm going to bring it in here and see if I can uh, land it. Uh, 14 meters per second. That must be top speed in in sport mode. See if I can land it manually. So let's bring it on back, and I'm going to see if I can drop the uh, drop drop the uh, uh, camera down so that I can see what I'm doing, and bring the drone straight down. Okay, let's go back into normal mode, and there, you know, those those, those were kind of inadvertent movements there that I did not intend to do, and I can bring it down here if I. I'm kind of targeting where I'm at here. And we want to miss these trees. Okay, can I, with the scroll wheel, can I drop the camera down? So I thought that that scroll wheel would drop the camera down. Uh, would control the camera. So how do you look down? I guess that's what I'm asking you guys. So I want to come in and I want to land on the pad. Well, I know I'm pretty close over the pad. I'm going to pull straight down on the joystick. Okay, so it's pretty clear I landed on the pad there. And uh, let me move out of the way. You probably, probably didn't see it. I was probably in the way of the camera, so you couldn't see it. So I got on the pad. Uh, but what I was hoping was is that I, with this scroll wheel, I could drop the camera. So do you just, do you just push down on the joystick? Uh, I don't know. You guys that fly this more, let me know in the comments uh, how that's done. But we did get it done here. A uh, little more nerve-wracking than we would have liked, but we got it done. Let me get everything shut down and we'll do a conclusion. Hey, okay, I think we made some progress on that flight with the, uh, with the DJI Avada. Uh, we actually hit some gaps, right? I went between the sculpture. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see it. Uh, the uh, the sculpture over there we went in between that gap and uh, yeah so I actually I'm pretty proud of that third battery uh, through so we we went through some things and and we went through the CarMax sign across the street so I'm kind of proud of that we got we hit a little bit of a gap uh, however I, I'm still telling you I am not comfortable with the controls on this guy I just never feel like I have that precise control that I have with a controller. I'm gonna keep messing with it. I promise you that. Uh, the drone is fun, uh, and particularly when you're doing the low flying stuff. Uh, so it's, it's a lot of fun, and I know that I'll uh, have fun flying it. Uh, will it replace my camera drones? I can tell you absolutely not. Uh, I'm, I'm still gonna be flying my camera drones and having a lot of fun with them. Uh, but this guy was a, is, is a lot of fun to fly, and I'm glad that I have it. I may, I may purchase that controller because I think I have a feeling I might be a little more comfortable with it. But don't worry. I'm not giving up on this guy. I'm going to keep messing around with it and uh, see if I can get more and more comfortable with it. Uh, 
So yeah, we, you know, we hit a couple gaps and put it in sport mode and got it up to 14 meters per second, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, one thing that I want to show you here is, uh, is that DJI does have a method for storing these goggles that I had not seen on any other video. So I, I, I figure it's probably worth showing it here. So the little, you just undo the, the, uh, the clip here. And what they want you to do is uh, lay this, excuse me, is it this? Yeah, no, you go down this way and, and you, you put this over the, uh, I guess you can see it now, in, in the, the, uh, where your eyes would go in the goggles. And then they make a little, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it here, there's a little clip that you clip that onto and it holds it in place. So that holds everything in place. I don't know, you guys that fly the Avada all the time probably already know that, but I just thought it was kind of a slick solution for, uh, for keeping everything in place and it not flopping around and protecting the lenses inside the goggles. So hey, I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I do appreciate you taking the time to look at this video today. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, the DJI Avada, I got the Explorer combo with the Integra goggles and the motion controller too. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye.